It is Friday and opening day for the Toledo Mudheads. We are excited to welcome baseball back into town. The one thing that we are not excited about is the rainfall. For those who are already downtown, they are working with some of our steady rain that's moving in right now. Just ahead of noon, you are going to find, of course, plenty of water here on the lens and, of course, a wet scene as we look towards Fifth Third Field. Thankfully, this will not be the look all day long for us. We are actually going to have a likely dry first pitch for the game. Temperatures are also going to be warming up to be fairly mild, headed into the upper 50s, even getting close to the low 60s. But we won't be completely done with the rain when we do get into that window of dry weather. You're going to find rain showers are going to be getting close towards the back half of the game. So that's why you're going to be checking radar with the WTO Wall 11 weather app. Make sure you have that downloaded before you go to the game because watching radar is going to be essential for the last couple of innings and outs of the game. And also, though, if you're going to the doubleheader with the walleye, they are also home this weekend. So there's plenty of fun going on, but also you're going to want to have the app because we will be watching for some spring thunderstorms to be rolling through later on tonight. Some rumbles of thunder. Haven't heard a lot of it around lately, but we will be talking about the chance for some storms. Now our temperatures, they're slowly working their way up. We're already into the 50s and you can see a lot of warm air that's off towards our west. Keep this in mind that we're eyeing Iowa, Illinois, even through Missouri, finding temperatures there that are into the 60s because our friends in that direction, they are seeing some severe weather for today. But by the time the system rolls on in, it's not going to have all those prime ingredients or even the timing. So that's why here at home, though we do have some thunderstorms, we're not going to be seeing anything to those severe levels. We'll talk Talk about that more coming up, but here's a check of your Doppler radar where you're going to find that we have those steady showers. This is why the lens looked all busy because we still have that steady rain working its way through. Here's the morning portion of the rain that's working its way out of Ohio, and then I'm also keeping my eyes to the west. You're going to find not a lot going on. Sure, there's a couple of sprinkles that are trying to build and kind of last in, but otherwise, it looks like we have some dry conditions, so we will have, like I said, a window of some dry weather, and thankfully it should time out pretty well with getting that home opener baseball game in. So we are excited to see that. Let's time it out. Hour by hour forecast showing that steady rainfall that we have rolling through right now, and then after it pushes out, you're going to find four o'clock. Not a lot going on as far as rain. We will have some of that nearby. Like I mentioned, a few of those showers are going to be hovering close, but I anticipate that by the time first pitch comes around, it will likely be dry in the forecast. So we will soak in this afternoon break and that just will have cloud cover overhead. So it's not going to be bright and sunny like a baseball day that we want, but you are going to find that it should hold this dry window through the seven o'clock hour. But of course, later in the game, still make sure you're checking radar because you're going to see here we have a little bit of green and it's knocking on our door as we go into the seven o'clock hour. So that first round is going to come in. We're watching along this front. So we have a cold front that's going to be rolling through around 11 midnight, 1 a.m. And as it does, it is going to be bringing the chance for some gusty winds within these thunderstorms. That would be our main concern with any thunderstorms that we do have developed tonight at midnight. So of course, just be mindful that the storms that we do have, they're going to be pretty short lived. They'll just have the gusty winds winds, but once they pass through, the rest of our night will be calm and quiet and our weekend will still have the backside of the system to work through. And you can see there's a little bit of green nearby. We will have a few showers that go into our weekend forecast, but we have been issuing well some of those gusty winds for today's forecast and you're going to find wind gusts this afternoon to be around 25 miles per hour. As we head into tonight, we'll have a little bit of a drop, but they really do pick up when we have those thunderstorms roll through. You can see some of, in some of those storms, those winds try to really pop up towards 40 miles per hour, a little bit above. That would just be in some of our, our strongest thunderstorms. And like I said, they'll be pretty short lived. They will continue to push further east and it'll be mainly after midnight that we see that quick action into that 1 a.m. hour and then it'll be a calm and quiet night. But remember when I was pointing that we were watching Iowa, Illinois into Missouri. It's because we have this severe weather threat. You can see the bullseye is to our west and for us we are into that yellow. So we're in the second level of that lowest threshold. So we do run the chance for seeing some stronger storms in our forecast. That's going to be around midnight tonight, but you can see that they are actually going to be more powerful towards our west and they're really going to be fading out by the time they move in. Again, that time frame going to be around midnight tonight. So just have the WTO 11 weather app to get the latest update.
updates, of course, of Radar and from the team. All you have to do to download that is go to the uh, Google Play Store, Apple App Store, and search WTOL 11 Weather. And then you can get the app. It is free to download. It's always going to be free. This data, of course, looking at it, you're going to be able to use the radar tab. We also have the daily tab for the next 10 days or even hourly conditions where you still find those 50s and those 60s watching for that storm potential though as we go into this evening. Plus, we've been having the opening day forecast on there for you as well. So there's a lot and it's going to be a great tool to have for not only the game, but even as we go into tonight. Now for the weekend, we are going to continue, like I said, the backside of that system holding rain chances into our forecast. It's still going to be windy as the system lifts out of the area and 50 degrees. That's going to be the temperature at the start of the morning. We're actually going to find that during the day tomorrow that a lot of those temperatures are going to be into the 40s. So it's going to feel cooler, of course, than 50 degrees, but that high will touch into the 50s before falling during the day. If you want it a little bit warmer, then we bring that on Sunday. Your highs, those are going to be around 53 degrees. We'll have more sun in the forecast by then. Maybe a few clouds, but overall mid 50s and some sun. This is just what we want to see in a spring forecast. And so make sure you have some outdoor plans for your Sunday. Now, I, like I said, those temperatures on Saturday, they're a little bit tricky because you do find as we go through the day today, we're in the mid to upper 50s, even peaking into those 60s as we go into that midnight time frame when we do have that chance for some spring thunderstorms. But as we go into the overnight, temperatures hold in the 50s before during the day, we're into the 40s. Even some locations could get close to the 30s further north and west of the metro. So you are going to find not 50s into the afternoon, a little bit more of a cooler forecast. But like I said, Sunday is going to make up for it. Now, high temperatures to come. It's starting to look like spring on this high temperature trend. We haven't seen a lot of it. And yeah, we do still have a cold day on Tuesday with that high of 48. That's because of the lake breeze that we're forecasting. But you are at least going to find some 50s for the weekend, 60 by Monday and even 72 still on tap with some storms for the middle point of next week. And then, yep, we're still holding on to some 50s and even 60s by that following weekend. Of course, always watching what we have in store for a Saturday and Sunday. But overall, starting to see a little more of an April or even a spring like forecast in the next 10 days. And that means, though, if we have spring temperatures, probably some spring showers are in here as well. Plus, April starting tomorrow. April showers do have to bring then those May flowers, so you're going to find rain chances for much of early next week. It's not going to be a washout all of the days, but at moments you are going to be working with some rainfall in the forecast. Of course, because of the rain, that's why we have the ups and downs in our temperatures. You're going to definitely notice it's a transition and a little bit of a struggle here, but at least we have those 50s and 60s towards the back half of our forecast. And yes, some dry weather to go with it. Once we get through that Wednesday system with those morning thunderstorms, you are going to find that we have partly cloudy skies to get us through the rest of the work week and even into the weekend. So hopefully our atmospheric pattern is changing just a little bit so we can get those storms off of Friday. So then we have a really good looking Saturday and Sunday. However, not going to time out great for this weekend. So make sure you have the WTO well 11 weather app for the weekend forecast. But again, you will be checking radar throughout the day today at the game and also as we go into tonight when we have the chance for some spring thunderstorms.